What's up, y'all? It is November 3rd, Sunday. Doing my journal entry a little late. No excuse for that. I need to be more disciplined. I need to have more consistency. No matter what's going on in your life, perform. Always. Shout out to Andrew Tate. <laughs> so we're going to start this one off with what is new? Well, what's new is, uh, mm, 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 that's new for you. <laughs> Not me, stop. <laughs> Uh, what's new is I'm doing investment banking with no degree, um, just because of my job experience and what I've done in the past. So, you know, it goes to show you don't gotta go to school to get your dream job, I guess. It's not my dream job. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. God bless me with this opportunity. Yeah? And I'm doing this shit and it's incredibly hard, but it's, you know, the payoff is amazing if you actually get a deal and you put the work in, so... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I could say what's next is I got this performance to show that this DJ at the restaurant I was performing at, the Spanish restaurant, Lobster Steakhouse, he is trying to get me into this show with a bunch of other famous Dominican artists. Definitely not Bad Bunny, to my knowledge, but tickets are like $40. They're putting me on the flyer. Um, I'll probably like post it on my Instagram or whatnot. But yeah, I got that show coming up on Saturday. Besides the new games, I mean, it's not much new, to be honest. We just same shit, different day, working hard, man. Just working hard. I feel like every every day you should be, you know, either trying something new or trying something a different way. Like, you know, I mean, there's no problem with consistency and discipline and keeping everything the same. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I'm always brainstorming. I'm always brainstorming. So what's new is not much else, to be honest. I mean... Yeah, just work. Just hard work. That's it. Hard work until I make it, bro. Hard work until I make it out the hood, bro. And then even after I make it out the hood, even more hard work. Time's time. So, as far as the drop shipping shit, though, I have not been focusing on that. I mean, I made the website. It's good. I, I just need to probably throw some ads in there, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it, the website looks pretty good. I've been focusing on investment banking, and it's, it's definitely a focus, you know what I mean? But with everything I have going on, I think I can still make time for drop shipping and music. It's just all about time management. How do I feel overall? If I'm being honest with myself, I feel scared, worried. Like, I still have mad worries and shit, but I'm still working through it. But, you know, it's just one of those things, I, I believe. You're in the dark tunnel, and all, all you have is your internal compass, you know? All you have is your own light to, to light the way, you know? And of course, God is, is guiding me too, but that's that's like, that's what's inside of me. And God is just telling me to trust it, you know? God is just telling me to trust in our eternal guide, you know? Uh, whether whether it's, you know, something in instinctual or, you know, you read the Bible, you study the scriptures, you know, and you feel the Holy Spirit. You feel the Holy Spirit that was in Christ and he guides you and he, he leads you. But everything is inside of you. Everything is inside of you, man. Christ is inside of you. You just gotta look for him. You gotta seek for him. He's always everywhere around us and inside of us. You gotta seek and you will find, you know? It's not always the thing that you seek for, but you will find something that aligns with his will. Every time that you knock, something will open. It might not always be the opportunity you expect, but God always opens the door. And it's always just something that will, will get you to what you want, just not always the way you expect it. So that's what I've been feeling like. I'm still scared, worried, but just throwing myself into the work. That's that's my my form of, you know, trusting him. Just still working through it, you know. I'm not just going to be scared and just, like, stop and just be like, oh. Because I have a lot of responsibilities, I'm not going to lie. I have a lot of bills. <laughs> my credit score is pretty good, but I just, I'm worried about it getting ruined because niggas... You know what I mean? The income has been pretty low because I got left that last job and now I'm going to be making less as a base salary here, but obviously the commission is higher and the stakes are greater. So my plan is to do this investment banking shit for like two months. If I don't get a sale in two months, then I'm just quitting it and I'm just going back to a regular nine to five and just doing shit that way. You know what I mean? Because to be honest, I mean, even if it's not for me, I understand the duty and responsibility that you need to carry. You know, not everybody that's doing something to provide for themselves, uh, not, not everybody's passionate about what they're doing, they're passionate about the money. Like what I said in my last journal entry or my last vlog or whatever, right? Billionaires aren't passionate about fucking rocks, but they're going to sell that fucking concrete to make money because it's making them trillions of dollars and that's what I'm going to do, you know? That's what you have to be. Everybody's different. I don't know about everybody else, but I, I just wanted to speak on that because I do understand that and I understand myself and I understand the importance of how everything needs a balance you need to have balance in life so 
that's where I'm at, man. I'm still trying to find a balance, yo. It's like, that's what the word Israel means. I mean, wrestling with God, trying to find your balance in this world with God and still staying in the fight, you know? Because most of the time, I mean, even even if we, we are have a good relationship with God, it's like, as long as we're still in these bodies, we're wrestling with God. As long as we're still in these bodies, we're wrestling with our flesh. We're wrestling with demons. It's always spiritual warfare. Something's always going on. Distractions, temptations. There's always something to take your attention, to divert your attention off of God and to focus on the world. So there's always something to deter you on your path to greatness, to achieving the glory, you know? But we all fall short of the glory, and I'm still trying to find that balance, you know? I'm still trying to find that balance. Life is a constant state of trying to find your balance. You think you got it, God throws something your way, he gives you something else to juggle to see if you really got it, you know what I mean? And he just keeps throwing things at you to see how much are you really able to juggle, and then you really start to learn yourself. That, that's where I'm at, that's where I'm at, balance, balance. So trying to find balance, that's something I want to improve on still. Now, a solution, I don't want to just speak on the problem, I want to speak on a solution. Bro, I think it all starts with time management. And I feel like every time, I think every time when I start, I get sidetracked and I fucking lose focus and, and I gotta restart all over again. But, you know, I have been getting the work done though. I have been getting the work done though. So I, I can at least say that for myself. The work has been getting done and I'm getting better at, you know, whatever I'm doing, whether it's music, camera, editing videos, whether it's socializing, connect, networking with people, you know? That leads me into my next question, which is what is my relationship with God? As of recently, my spirit has been in a repentance kind of aura, you know? I just, I don't know, I just want to repent. Like, I remember two nights ago, I was just thinking about all the weight, all my responsibilities and just, you know, I'm being 20, but I'm still like in the hood, you know what I mean? And it's just like, it's it's, it's killing me, man. Cause I, I don't want to be here. I, I want to work out of this shit. I want to weigh out of this. I want to make a plan and I, and I have a plan, but it's just like, as I'm working through it, it, it gives me more fuel most of the time. But sometimes like when I'm at sleep, when I'm sleeping at night, it's like, <sighs> I need to repent, yo. Like, I need to repent. I need a way out of this. Like, cause I, was, like, I still feel the temptations. I still feel like I could still be more consistent. I still feel like I could be doing better. You can always be doing better. You can always be improving something in your life. And that's why I'm so hard on myself. Like, cause I feel like I could be doing better. And I'm also judging myself for my past mistakes. Like, you know, dropping out of high school, you know, getting all these fucking tattoos that I didn't need to get. You know, and just certain things in the past that I did and what I didn't do, you know, just things like that. And I'm just, I'm still hard on myself about it. And that's why it, it, it motivates me now to just fucking just do it, you know. But at night, yo, I just, I just be wanting to repent, yo. And I, I, like two nights ago, I was just in my bed and I was just like, I couldn't sleep, yo. I was just like, I, I need to repent. Like I was fucking brought low. Like God had brought me low, like depressed kind of low and that was just just hurting me yo it was just killing me son and you know repentance isn't just like dropping down to your knees and telling the lord like i i repent i repent please forgive me you know i do that but that's not enough you have to actually change you have to actually do better you have to actually envision yourself the the highest version of yourself and what your habits would be if you were that and you have to be that i'm just so hard on myself about that i feel like i could be less hard you know and maybe that's something i can improve on maybe being less hard on myself i just don't i feel like i just don't have enough people to like give me a pat on the back i guess maybe because when i do experience that when someone does give me a pat on the back or someone does like acknowledge what i'm doing i feel i feel like i, I let it affect me a little bit like okay that's good. Maybe I, I should keep doing what I'm doing and it feels good. But I want to get to a point where it's like, it doesn't affect me at all. Like someone says I'm doing good, I'm supposed to be doing good. When someone, or I'm, I, know I'm, I know I'm doing good, you know what I mean? So it doesn't even phase me. Or when someone says I'm doing bad, nobody says I'm doing bad, but it just doesn't phase me. You know, I don't want anything to phase me. I want to get to that point too. I need to improve on not taking things personally because some things I'll be taking personal. I'm not that sensitive, to be honest. Like, when I look at myself, like, I actually, like, have grown a little bit of a show. So I'm not really that sensitive. I mean, I'll be poking a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'll be making a lot of jokes and shit. Sometimes I'll be making fun of people to their face. But, like, I'll be making a lot of jokes and shit. 
So obviously one who does that needs to have a thick fucking skin so that when shit happens to you, you better be able to take it. I'm sensitive, I guess, somehow. I don't know. But yeah, back on repentance is just I feel like I could always be doing better. I can improve on not being so hard on myself. But it's like I'm the only one. It's only me. It's only me and God. So who's gonna be there to push me, you know? Just me. No one's no one's here to encourage me. No one's here to push me to do better. No one's here to tell me when I'm fucking up. I have to constantly look myself in the mirror and be like, this is where you could have did better. And obviously, always self-reflect. And, you know, I have to do that for myself. Nobody's there to do that for you, you know? But it's it's also the path that I've taken, you know, to, to be a little more isolated and to be, like, more to myself so that I can grow. Because I know it's what it's necessary to grow. For me, at least. I don't know what's going to work for everybody else. I know for me, though, I know for me, nobody else is going to know what I need more than I do. Shout out to Jordan Welch. He has a video that's called 11 Life Lessons from a Millionaire. I think that's what the video is called. I'll probably put it in the link description if I don't forget. Literally, the last lesson was stop taking advice. The only person that knows what's best for you is you. And that was so fucking real. It's just like... Some people always try to give me advice and shit like that, but I know what's best for me. Like, you, more than half of the time, already know what you need to do. You already know what you need to do to move forward and get to the next step. Which is why I don't like to harbor on just problems. You know, we like to find solutions. So, I had you always have the solution to it. If you just sit down, self-reflect, and isolate, and look at yourself honestly, which is really hard, I notice, for uh, people to do. To, like, really look at yourself in the mirror and be like, I'm fucking up like this, and I need to, I need to change this shit if I want to be like this. If I want to be better, if I want to improve this, right? It's not an easy thing to do. And you already know. You already know. That's why it's like God is inside of you. The Christ is inside of you. The answers are inside of you. You know, you just have to listen and wait for that divination to come to you, for the Most High to to bless you with these downloads, so that you could take it in and apply it. You know, that's real repentance, to be honest. That's real repentance, because I feel like in the midst of repentance, in the midst of you genuinely, sincerely apologizing for what you've done and you know the mistakes you've made, that's when you start to receive the downloads of what you need to do to change and make it better. My relationship with God has been better, to be honest. I feel like it's been better because I'm more repentant. <laughs> I haven't even been reading the Bible as much. But more often than not, I'm consuming more frequencies that are of God than frequencies that aren't, right? So it, although I haven't been studying the scriptures as much as I should, I still feel like I, I'm getting close to God because of the repentant spirit, because of the self-reflection, the time that I have to myself, because the time that I have to myself is also time that I share with the Lord. So I low-key have a lack of goals. I need some goals. That's what I need to do. I need to make some fucking goals. That goes in line with time management. Because I feel like once I make time management, once I make a schedule with time management and make goals and shit, I fold off and start doing what the fuck I want to do. But as of recently, what's been working for me is just like making small goals. I don't have any big goals yet, but I have like a bunch of small goals that I'll make and I'll just do that shit. And... You know, I feel like it's it's getting me forward, you know? I'm, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to understand more the more that I actually throw myself into the action and do it. So, I mean, that's always how I've learned. I guess what I'm missing, because I'm definitely missing something. There's something I'm fucking missing for sure. I feel like I'm missing something. I've just been ignoring it. But what I'm missing, I think, is like a genuine, like... Like a genuine, like... Maybe a hug. Like support. Like genuine support that's sincere, you know? I feel a serious deprivation of genuine, sincere love and acceptance. But maybe that's coming from myself because I'm constantly pushing myself and I'm constantly like, no, I'm not okay with where I am now. I mean, I can be grateful for what I have, but I always see myself somewhere else. So maybe that's where that comes from because I have people, but I don't know. I'm just grateful that shit, my dad supports me and he's like doing shit for me. Like my dad is really helping me out a lot. So all praise to the most high for that. My family, oddly enough, supports me more than any of my friends and that's really how it's supposed to be, you know? Cause I feel like as of recently it's been like a trend to have friends that stick closer than family, you know, that's in the Bible. More often than not, that is the case nowadays. I feel like I'm I'm still in the case where like my, my family does support me. They support me. 
I, I really am appreciative of that and I'm grateful to the most high for that. But yeah, I didn't think this was gonna be like a 20 minute video, shit. Guess I had a lot to vent about, you know? I've been working really fucking hard, so it's, I guess I did have a lot to vent about, you know? This is where we at, so. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I already said everything I needed to. Gotta keep getting better and stay consistent. Stay consistent and let's see where I am next weekend. All praise to the most high. I know I was gonna start it off with a prayer and end it with a prayer. I still remember that shit and I, <laughs> that's what I have not been consistent with, but I'm gonna end it off with a prayer. Our Lord, that Father God, and Yeshua Yahuwah in Jesus Christ's name. May you bless everyone watching this video. May the rest of this day be led by the Holy Spirit in peace and harmony. And may you lead everyone that's watching this video to peace and harmony today and to align them with your will. May your angelic forces come to comfort everybody. May the Holy Spirit come to comfort whoever is watching this video to guide them towards your light, glory, and majesty in every single way. And bless them in every aspect in their life if it's positive and, and, and you know, anyone who's uncertain, may you wipe that away and give them comfort so that everyone can lean on you and everyone can learn to lean on you. Our Lord, our Father, God, thank you so much for life today. Thank you for whoever's watching this video. May you bless them on their journey. Amen. That's all I got to say, y'all. Yeah. Till next time.